scenario of the ages up against Owl Babies. Owl Babies. <laughs> we'll talk about more. We'll talk more about him once we get to that set. But here we have Ixis versus M. Losers top eight of Albion. Let's go. This is where it all starts, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. At Albion two, and it's on Final Destination, which is our first <laughs> destination on this top eight. Indeed. But uh. So we know M for you know really utilizing those intangibility frames on on landing um, selection of of the Monado arts and kind of you know using his great grab game to punish um, and just space brilliantly and very very good at kind of like making those like informed guesses as well to kind of like get ahead of his his, his opponent as such. But um, this is the first bit a bit of damage on the board for M. 18% from that back air in Buster in Buster art mode. Yeah, Shulk's damage output. In the Nardo bus is absolutely absurd. That forward tilt does 18, back air does 18. Very, very chunky hits. Ooh, excellent comboing the spring into the down air itself. Not something that you see that often. Yeah, I think that's something that, that, that Ixis is really good at. He's always good at kind of you know, utilizing the spring to kind of aid his combo. It's not just a case of just you know, throwing out to do anything, just nothing. It's just he always kind of has a plan for it. Mm -hmm. Excellent use of the intangibility right there on the landing to avoid that grab. Gets a grab of his own, but doesn't doesn't follow up too much from it, and then throws out that back air just to yes. kind of push back the um, approaching Ixis. Yeah, I very much like that from M. Not afraid. Again, even though off stage, even in disadvantage, he's really been working on that from Beast. Yeah. Oh wow! Oh, crazy! Very very scary. scary. I think he 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 felt he got one of the hits on that up air and just thought, you know, what, throw it out, should be fine. Um, but here comes the smash, M Monado R, and gets oh. an immediate back air, but from the other side of the stage. So much knockback on that, sending him so far, even on the other side. He's going to have to be careful, though. One grab from either player may end the stock. All right, not anymore. I like this, going back between smash and shield in order to not only threaten Ixis' stock, but also survive a lot himself. I think that that's also one of the good things about M as well, as a, as a you know, a top Shulk player, is that he's very good at managing his arts. He's got that mental counter going. He knows when he can switch back, and he's just kind of just peppering each individual one, keeping himself as varied as possible, but getting grabbed, and the Smash Monado are actually making him fly further as well. So it's that it's the double-edged sword nature yes. of Smash Monado are. <laughs> That's it, though. Excellent use of the speed art right there, coming out from M to just gain that momentum back, put him on enough damage so that Smash art is really a factor. Yeah, that sure. Monado smash up till incredibly, incredibly strong and a relatively safe move with incredible vertical range as well. We will likely see that coming out at some point. I've noticed as well that because of that, when you were mentioning that, maybe it wasn't intentional, but Ixis was staying a little bit lower, so not to get caught by, you know, oh, okay, uh, not by the, not to get caught by the high reaching nature of up tilt. That's it though, with all the talk we've been having about M, Ixis has been running away both literally and metaphorically with this set. Yeah, Ix is just doing a very, very good job here, just turning the screws. Just kept himself very relatively safe. His defensive um, ability is really important in this matchup. When you do have someone who can suddenly just, you know, I want to, I don't want to say tip the scales, but you know, change <laughs> it all, all, in, all in one moment. Indeed. But there finally, is that first stock. The, yes, finally that back air taking that first stock. 101% on M at the moment. But here, 17% from that back throw, and then 16 from the back air. It's just bust him the. Monado Buster, my stutter is getting to me. Monado Buster just does so much damage, you just cannot underestimate it. Indeed. Although I really like how Ixis is operating in that disadvantage. He's not allowing M to get his usual follow-ups. M has to continually Sorry. win that neutral in order to really make this comeback. That was a wonderful, wonderful read there. I, yeah, I like to say that that one's definitely a read. He kind of has been seeing... Wow, percentage. Has been seeing! Oh, oh my goodness! Whoa, that was almost perfect timing on that smash. Um, smash Monado Art. Great in. grab, down throw, not enough yet. Ix is barely surviving. And bringing this game all the way back after a fantastic opening gambit from Ixis. Oh, this is incredibly close. Now switching once again back to Monado Shield. Wants to be safe. I like this from Ixis running away from Monado Shield, but overcoming it. and that okay. back air taking game one for M. So M. Was behind quite a lot. We saw Ixis had the stock lead in about 110%, we mm -hmm. said, but you know, the stock came back in M's favor. He then switched over to the Bustamer Minado R. M's are going to be a real problem with this in me for me today. You're going to have to help <laughs> me out a little bit. It's okay, uh, I've got you, man. I'll say Buster, you say Minado, I'll say Art. Buster. <laughs> Minado. Art. Yeah, uh, you know, got a lot of um, percentage up on that, and then kind of you could see. 
that's perhaps, I think the Buster's Pat's one of the actual more clutch play type um, arts because it's those ones that if you do get those little like tacked on hits, it's much more percentage mm -hmm. than, than just a regular hit. And that's the one that can turn the tide from being in kill percent or not. Yes. In addition to that, because of the low knockback of the Monado art, the Monado Buster art, uh, he keeps you in your, in his like, close range, that close vicinity, allowing him to hold advantage, get more hits, and each of those hits really adds up. Seems like one of our <laughs> player threes just got a bit of a... Player three has entered the ring. We prefer if they didn't. Uh, collusion. Um, okay. I think, who, I think whoever it is, is it does know. I think... All right. It's all good. The problem has dissolved, and we are going to Dreamland. I know Ixis is actually one of the Sonics that really likes those tri-platform stages. Yeah. He likes Battlefield, he likes Dreamland. Let's see how he fares. This time around, <laughs> how he fares. <laughs> Excellent use of the the Monado art landing that cancel to combo right into that grab. Yeah. So far, just keeping these this fair string. Oh, went for the down air to get the spike, and there's the uh, the landing there. Doesn't get doesn't get the grab because of the uh, the, the knockback angle. Um, but okay, here is X is going to start mounting his offense in this game too. Equal percent. If there's one thing about Ixus, he's incredibly good at adapting to his opponent. Let's see how quickly he's able to adapt to M. And M's doing a great job now, just trying, just trying to make these very informed guesses on Ixus' movement. He's seeing the the general kind of directions he likes to go and just trying to catch him halfway. Yeah. Nice um, up air to catch that jump. Now we can see M holding the center stage. This is a really good position for him. Allows him to get pressure with an unspaced nair, gets punished. But a simple jump and air dodge onto the stage. Thanks for the jump, Monado Art. I did it. <laughs> God, whenever Buster's out, I'm so, <laughs> so like, how much percent? It's like 18 as much from like, from so many hits. It's so powerful. And that back is so threatening and so, so much range on it. Just mm. occupies so much space. Sometimes you don't there even know. Wow. And that was a complete scoop from the up tilt. That was like from downtown all the way up. And now it's a stock lead for M with a one game advantage as well. With Speed Monado Art, there's the grab as well. Just throwing Ixes around the stage, left to right, ping pong. But an excellent combo coming out from that short hop up air. Ixes really makes good use of that. Wow, Ixes' defense is looking a little bit lax here as well. Dropping that shield and getting caught by that Nair. Oh, wow. Instant with the spring to try and get that catch. Yeah, Exus really needs to take the stock immediately if he wants to remain in this game. A great back air, not quite enough just yet. Yeah, the uh, jump, Minato up, making that air slash so, so good at recovering. Wow. Wonderful little dash dance to that grab. Mm. Very, very nice coming out from M. He's spacing this game. This set has been looking very, very strong. And there it is. Smash Monado Art is out. You can see as soon as he as he's ready for it, you can see him just start ticking up. One, two, four. He waits for that landing and five. An That's excellent grab. He has near max rage. Not quite enough. To oh, oh my god! Wow, what happened there? He went all the he went the distance and then it kind of stopped and then just went. Was that just, yeah. was that a di was that a di issue? You reckon? Possibly an input from Ixis and then extending his extending hurt, box his hurt box out into yeah. the boundary. And now M with the 2-0 lead versus UK's current number one. Will we see? This would be quite an upset if he's able to get this victory. Yeah, this would especially, be a huge win for especially yeah. since this matchup is one that's cited as one of Shulk's harder ones. Yeah. But that's the thing, like, a lot of people, you, when you put um, a lot of the issue into Shulk, it's normally down to the fact that his frame data is, you know, not exactly the best in the world. The thing is, a lot of players who are playing Shulk, it's kind of like built into his character. It's all about kind of making those predictions and kind of going ahead with it, you know, kind of like throwing something out early with good spacing to kind of keep your distance, but be aggressive as well. Yes. And how fitting of a character whose main ability is, of course, his visions of the future. Exactly. We're always planning ahead. I think that's the thing. You know, M is one of those players who, as I say, you can see him preparing to change his, his, his art every, every single time. He knows when he wants to change it up, and then he'll basically, can, he'll feel kind of like construct a string of offense together in preparation to go into his next one. Or use one to get to the next, you know? Yes. Nice pressure relief with that forward tilt. 
He's going to need a lot more than that. Em oh. has had the stage control for a lot of this. It's been really hard for Ixis to kind of find center stage and really get his own offense mounted. I just kind of feel that it's almost as if there's this sense of unawareness of just how long some of the ranges of Shulk's attack are. It yes. seems like Ixis isn't defending, but he's just getting caught by the very edge of, of the uh, of the Monado. Good patience on the ledge coming from Ixis. Opting to fall back as well, knowing that M likes to kind of throw out that up smash near the edge, trying to kind of catch either a neutral get up or find those um, for those um, for those vulnerable frames on the roll. Excellent forward smash coming from Ixis, finally getting the lead. Now. But the Smash Monado R is out now, so he needs to be careful again. He needs to mount this defense, but be very, very aware of things like that. Yes. Now, this is where the platforms can work in Ixis' favor. Having those extra movement options, those extra places to move in order to get around stuff like Monado Smash. Yeah. You can see him just speeding up a little bit as well. He's got... Ooh, oh, that was an impeccably placed up air. Excellent stuff, challenging the spin dash and taking the stock 60% behind. And for a Buster Shulk, that is that is not too that much. Not too much. I, I grab and like another nair. <laughs> oh, but these back airs coming out from Ixis, so, so chunky. And you can see as well, oh, that scoop is just amazing. Got such range on that up tilt. Mm -hmm. You can see though, that um, Ixis is you know, using the platforms as well just to kind of, like, as you say, you know, it, when, um, it, M's trying to land on those, even though it's kind of get away from the um, the attack. But here comes the, the damage from Pastor Monado. Art. The UK crowd is erupting for Ixis. They want to see this go further. They don't want it over to be do they, they don't want it to be over just now. No, of course not. Excellent way of air dodge. 2-1. Alright, Ixis gets one on the board. 2-1. He sees soul searching. He's really digging deep right now just because. He knows that M is a very, very dang dangerous player. He's, for the most part in this set, all, you know, outside of you know the first game, the early kind of part of the first game, M's been in control and began dominating the pace. And for, and for a character like Sonic, who's all about kind of closing an opening space whenever he chooses, mm -hmm. that's a bad thing, it's a bad, bad position to be in. Yeah, Ixus has spent a lot of time in this set in the corner. Let's see how he's able to change that. And M obviously getting rid of those, those platforms that he noticed that Ixus was really enjoying. Wow, that, the double instant up double up air. Is this cloud? <laughs> Always scares me whenever Ixis does that. Sing out on the grab. And now this is this is the key thing with Ixis. Even in those opportunities yeah. where it looks like, you know, oh, M has the read. Ixis is being very flexible, very adaptable with how he moves. That is yeah. key to how he plays. It's yeah. probably the most defining thing about him as a Sonic. The back air, he doesn't have a jump! Wow, that was really nice from Ixis just catching it, um, M out of one of his jumps there. And yeah, just there was not much he could, he could have done really. M needs to even this out as soon as possible. And, and as such, out comes the Monado Smash. He's definitely in the position to, but Ixis, being weary of the Monado Smash, is keeping his distance, yeah, being mindful of the options that Shulk can use to break into his zone, playing around that accordingly. Excellent, yeah, aggressive grab coming out from Ixis after all that retreating. Wow, okay, I thought he didn't have his jump again. <laughs> I was scared. Uh, smash again, he needs to get this stock. That he does. Oh, whiffs the dash attack, very, very punishable. Wow, that was very uh, aggressive of Ixis to go to not go for the legend to get that up. Ooh, very close with the backslash. That would have been an you don't excellent know. way to take the stop. But the dash attack, attack yeah, will do enough. it with with the speed Monado on. It'll just way on the edge once again. But again, you know, 103%. It is a lot. But if M can get a tasty string with Monado Buster, that is not going to happen with that F smash on the ledge taking out M's second stock. A JV2 coming from Ixis. Talking about tasty hits. <laughs> oh, he took a knuckle sandwich there, didn't he? That he did. Wow. Just uh, unfortunately, you know, that was good timing from Ixis. You know, he waited for that that get up and unleashed it at the right time. M just kind of forced into that position, had to make a, a decision. He made the wrong one. Two all. All right, running it back to final destination. Game five. Three, Top eight here, kicking off with a bang. 
Unfortunately, it's one, of, it's one of those things that this is the loser side and one of these players is going to be going home immediately. And, and Ix is and like, right off the bat erupting with 54% in 10 seconds. Another weight on the air dodge. Tries to go to the top for the, the follow-up. Ix is very nicely running off edge and trying to get that back air back on stage. Um, it doesn't get the hit, but again, the speed Minato are trying to just follow up as best he can. The Nair not landing, needing to find a new way in after he gets that back throw in speed. Minato, Art. Do my best. All right, here's the Buster Art. Excellent once again using that back air as we saw in game one to stop the aggressive edge guard from Ixis. The range of that grab, deceptive. Sonic's grab is a little bit disjointed. Wow. Excellent wait again. Not quite enough yet. No uh, rage on that. That high ceiling on. Oh, oh well, the yeah. big back air. Yeah, just yeah. enough to take the stock. Only 31% on Ixis. He is really feeling himself yeah. right now. He's, uh, he's come alive, isn't he? He has really, really come alive. And I'm saying that the audience behind us as well, coming to life, cheering for the then their UK number one. And this, this game is completely different from the others. M has remained, he's kept it close for the previous games. He's managed to take the first two games, but Ixis has really, really got a handle on him. Almost lapping him in percent. Almost. M looking just to get, oh wow, that immediate land into jab. Very, very nice. The forward smash again. Ixis is going all, full aggression now. Because he's got that momentum, he's got that lead. He can't afford to lose it. The scoop almost, yes. Okay, coming out, but not enough to take the stock just yet. M needs a little bit more percentage. It's a landing there into the into the jumping there. Again, try to see, trying to get that guess. There's a Gets dash the guess right here. there with that dash attack. Huge range on that, allowing him to finally take the stock. Oh, but these juggles, he is not letting the boy land. Yeah, Ixis right now, his, his aerial pressure is just intense. And there's not much, oh, for a while, there it is. Yeah, and that frame data coming into play. That short forward air just a little bit too slow and the back air able to take him out, sending M home at a very respectable seventh place. Ixis Norgus commences through the bracket.